hi everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video today we are testing something which is like adorable and super cute and it was an impulsive buy while i was scrolling on aliexpress so we are testing the tiniest cutest hair straighteners i've ever seen and they look like this just for size reference they are smaller than my palm like how cute are they and they are very tiny uh i don't know if they work you can see i did not even undo the um cable these were two i believe two pounds and 55 pence you can see it in here i'm gonna leave a link to the shop where i got this from uh, i did get it quite a while back but i never got to um, test it and it did come with the i believe this is us plug hopefully you can focus here yeah. but i do have plenty of this kind of like um adapters in around the house i bought these off aliexpress as well because some of my appliances that are very old mine or my husband's have um eu plugs so these are um, handy to have you can find them everywhere so i got this i'll put it in i did not plug them in and i'm just gonna plug them in and see how they work hopefully they work we just plug it in and also what i'm gonna use is a heat protecting spray always use a heat protecting spray don't forget about it i use this from tresemme this is my all-time favorite i think i purchased like hundreds of them and i've been using this for years and years i can even remember this is the best some clips to put my hair away and a brush which this again I mean, I've got some hairs on it. I just brushed my hair. This is the best hair brush ever. I got this from Savers. I think they sell them on Amazon as well, but they are more expensive. And Savers is under three pounds. You can see it's got this spiral here and it's movable, like it all moves back and forward. And these are very soft. So it detangles so well. Oh, it all went very dark. It detangles so, so well and it does not pull on the hair and this is great also for my girls because if you are new here and you don't know i have two little girls four and two years old and my four years old hair is longer than mine and is double the thickness and this is the best yeah so let's plug it in i'll spray my hair while this is heating up and then we'll see how it works i'll save it the cord cord no cable cord i just remembered the the cord is quite small but then again this is classified as travel travel straighteners if you need some little ones and let's just i'll have to bring the plug a little bit higher so i can use these things okay so the light is on hopefully you can see uh maybe not there is a little light here yeah and it switches on when the straighteners are on I had to fiddle a little bit with my adapter because uh, it's one of the cheapest and it doesn't work that great. But yeah, we managed to switch it on. I'll just leave it here to heat up. Add some spray. Okay, these I smell like they are very hot and it feels very hot on this side so be careful when you touch it. From here it's quite okay to touch it, it's not hot, it's just on top here so I guess it will be great also for curls. I um, didn't do anything to my hair other than just wash it and dry with a hair dryer. So let's try the first. I do have a mirror down here just so I can see what I'm doing and not burning my face. And I'm gonna try the first piece of my hair. And I do have some like small hairs in here. This is very growth after my postpartum hair loss. So 
Let's see. all straight. Let me do some more. It got very hot which I'm impressed for such a small um, little toy <laughs> device to be to get so hot. Okay so a little bit more. I would say it does a pretty good job for being smaller than my palm. It's cute! <laughs> I am shocked at how good this is. What I was thinking, I used to have fringes or bangs, you call it I think in US, when I uh, was a teenager throughout all my teenage years. And these would have come in handy so many times. So if you have a fringe, you know that sometimes you just wash it in the sink before you wash the whole head because it just gets greasy, especially in the summer. This will be so easy to just style it because it's so narrow and it'll be like, tup, tup, done. I wish I had this one, I had my fringe. So let me do this whole part and then I'll be back. So here you have it, all of this side, it's all done and you can see it's looking smooth, nice. The good thing I like about this is if you have parts where the hair is short, uh, you can access it like in here. I have lots of new ingrow, new grow hair and it's very curly underneath. For some reason, always the hair in here is curly, which is annoys me. And I was able to get in there and because it's so narrow, you can really start from the roots. I'm not sure if this is very healthy for your hair, but um, yeah, one thing I noticed, it's easy to get to actually to the root of the hair. So, let me just do the whole thing and then I'll be back. Okay, so I did half of my hair with this little tiny, I should unplug this actually, with this little tiny hair straightener. And this is how it looks like. This is the before my, I mean, this is how my hair looked before straightening, straightening it. And this is after. I would say that this thing does a pretty good job. The only thing, it's a bit time consuming if you have long hair like mine. If you have short hair and you're going somewhere and you don't have space to take your normal hair straighteners, this is a good alternative and I'll say that it works so well. You can see that it's also like shiny, it doesn't look dry my hair and it did a pretty good job. I'm impressed. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my uh, very old GHDs, uh, even the writing were not off on this side because just, I wanted to just speed up the process and I wanted to compare how a uh, 50 mini straightener looks like against the GHDs, which I, we know is very expensive. I bought it very long time ago. I can't even remember how much it was. But yeah, should do this side and I'll be back. So here you have it. This side you can see is flattened here. Obviously it also took less time. It only took me a few minutes to do half of my head and it is, I think it's more like bouncy and shinier. I mean, 
you would expect that from an expensive hair straightener and this one is the £2.51 which I mean I'm sure you can see a difference there but the difference in price this I think is 250 and this is 255 like, you can't compare and look at the size of this one and the size of this one are like can you see it's so tiny here you have it my review on the tiniest cutest uh, hair straightener that I could find and probably is also the cheapest ever hair straightener because it's £2.55 I do have a review on like a normal bigger cheapest hair straightener that I found as well I got it off Aliexpress I am gonna leave it in the description box below if you do have any questions don't forget to leave it in the comment section I love chatting with you in the comments and yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you next time. Love you, love you. Bye.